I am impartial. So I'm not going to try and sell you a course somewhere um, unless I truly believe it's the right thing for you because I've got nothing to gain. I'm not getting any commission. I'm not getting anything out of it. Hit me up in the DMs if you want to talk music education. If you're struggling with your course at the moment or you know someone who is, tag them in this because I feel like I can help you or them with where they're going. Hey, hey monkeys, how you doing? Damien Keyes here. I am back from my trip to New York and Charleston. I uh, had an amazing time and there will be a vlog coming soon in the next few days with my adventures. So hopefully you'll check that out. But today I want to talk about music education because it's that time of year where every third message I get on my socials is about music education. What course should I study? Where should I study? What should I be looking at to do whilst I study? Etc. Etc. So I want to make a video um, because I feel like I'm answering the same question quite a lot and I feel like I could bring you guys a lot of value. If you are about to study music, if you are potentially studying music but aren't too happy with what you're doing, then this video is for you. Now I think there's a little bit of belief uh, that amongst a lot of people that I am not into music education, that I don't believe in music education, which is ridiculous because this entire channel is all about music education. That is kind of my life's work. And if you don't know my background, um, my background is that I was a, a part of the team that built two of the biggest music um, education providers um, in this country and therefore the world. Um, which was ACM and Guildford and, and, and BIM, which is places all around Europe. Uh, I left in 2010, um, got very disillusioned with the industry and, um, and it's only recently with, with my social media that I started getting back into working a lot closer with musicians on music education and therefore on, as a result, with music education establishments. And I do feel that there are amazing places out there. So if you are looking to study or studying but not happy, then this video, video is for you. Now, when it comes to where you're gonna study or what you wanna study, we have to start with the piece of paper. It, that is one thing I do have a bugbear about. If you are gonna go and study music education because you wanna go and get a degree, I think that to me is the wrong way around. For me, music education is about mentoring. It's about what that you want to achieve. And we used to have a saying when we um, when we started, myself um, and and Bruce, my old business partner, uh, which was you, you're making a plan and you're working towards getting somewhere. And the the qualification that you do should be something that helps you get there, uh, and not just a piece of paper that you are getting. And I'm seeing far far too many people coming out the other side of music education and not knowing what to do next because they've, they've done a course and then three years later might be a better musician but no further forward and, and no real understanding of how the music industry works or more importantly how they are going to take themselves into the music industry. You've also got to remember the noise. We are in a time now where thousands and thousands of people are graduating from doing a music degree every single year. And let's be, let's be honest and realistic, lots of these colleges are churning out bullshit stats saying that there's 80 or 90% of their students go into the music industry. Well, let's think about that, okay? Let's just think about that for one minute, okay? If you've got a thousand students going on to study music and graduating that year, that means out of a thousand, 800 to 900 of them will be going into the music industry. There aren't that many jobs in the music industry, let alone times by every music college in the country. So let's be realistic, it isn't that. So we've got to think about what it is that you want to achieve. Now for me, music education is about mentoring. It is about you coming up with a plan and working with experienced people on your specific plan. It's not about what's in a record deal because I can tell you that does not help you. That's what music industry lawyers are for. It's not on the technicalities of the differences between publishing and and uh, royalties and um, and record deal. Those things are things that you're going to find out on YouTube. You can find that stuff out for free. You don't need to get thousands of pounds into debt to find out technicalities. This is the best time to study music because there are channels like mine and other like-minded channels that can help you with how the music industry works. But this is where it gets important. What you do need is time and you do need guidance on your specific skill set, your specific plan. And that is where music in, uh, education comes in handy. Now, for me, loan numbers are the key. Now, when we started 
Well, I, I was the first cohort of students at ACM. There was 44 students on that first year. And that was across all instruments. And the one-to-one -one time we got, and the teachers really, really cared, the one-to-one -one time that we got was amazing. Fast forward five years once I left ACM and we set up BIM. And the first year of BIM had 180 students. It's now got six and a half thousand. Um, 180 students. I knew every single student's name. I practically knew where they lived. I knew what band they were in. I knew where they wanted to take it, as did every teacher in the place, because it was a small community. Very, very difficult to do when you start getting to 1,000, 1,500, 2,000. Obviously, they'll disagree with me, but this is my opinion on things, having been through it. Small numbers allow for more information. And so when you are going into a music course, you want to know that the course that you are going into has the teachers that can specifically help with you with the exact career that you want to go into and that they're going to have the time allocated to help you do that. If you don't have that, then all you are doing is you're buying into this kind of pipe dream. You know, that, the, the times where you see a teacher that says they teach at this college and all of a sudden you find out when you get there that you never come into contact with them whatsoever. And yes, they might teach, but when you've got 300 guitarists and they're only in for half a day a week, you're not getting them. That to me isn't right anymore. So this is about the one-to-one -one side for me. This is about how you're going to get mentored. So I'm not going to go into a bunch of, uh, of courses around the country, but I, I would like you to email me if you're st struggling on where you want to study or you're struggling because you're studying and you're not happy. I need you to message me on this. I'm not just going to recommend a, a college in general, although as you guys are aware, I work quite closely with my old business partner, uh, Bruce, uh, and Adam and Mark, who also I've known for many, many years. This is their first uh, year with their course and their college called Water Bear, which is based in Brighton. The thing I love about it is every time I have a conversation with them, I feel like we are, we are right on the same page with where music education is right now, but also where music industry is right now. And that's because of technology, the stuff that you can pick up for free and how you can work one to one. Um, I was with them this week and one thing that I think is very, very important is I think the first cohort of BA students, I think they're only taking on about 10-ish students, probably mostly guitarists, but 10 students. In my head, I'm thinking back to the first year of ACM, the first year of BIM, and how much one-to-one -one time that brings you, how many contacts that brings you by default of having not many people. So I just feel like there is a massive opportunity right now, and I'm telling you guys, I wouldn't bullshit you on this. I'm telling you guys because this is a big opportunity. The first year of a music course is always special. I know because I've been on both of them at the biggest two music colleges in this country, I've been involved in them. I'm very much looking forward to how this is gonna work with theirs as well, and I think it's gonna be even bigger and even better. If you are not sure, you need to talk to these guys because they can talk to you about your particular niche or where you want to take it. And there's something else as well, which is I was, I was 19. I, I signed a record deal, all went wrong. My life was literally all over the place. I didn't quite know how the music industry worked or what was happening until I met Bruce. Bruce was the most inspirational person I have ever met in my entire life. He literally carved me, he molded me into understanding how the music industry works, into how, how con sort of consumption work worked in the music vibe. And I feel like he's got so much, he's got so much experience. He's had a number one album, he's toured all over the world, but he's, when it comes to music education from a technicality point of view of how to get the most out of music education, he's the best, he's the best in the world. There's nobody better, I, I would, I would, Hand on heart say that, there is nobody better. And the guys he's got around him are the same. They are unbelievable. So this is not an advert, by the way. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not here getting paid by them or promoting them for any other reason that I truly believe in this. And I also want you guys to benefit from that opportunity. So if you're not sure, if you don't want to be in Brighton, they, they, they do other courses, but if, you're, if that's not for you, there are other courses I can still recommend, which are more specific in different areas of the music industry. If you're not sure, you need to hit me up on this because I am impartial. So I'm not going to try and sell you a course somewhere um, unless I truly believe it's the right thing for you because I've got nothing to gain. I'm not getting any commission. I'm not getting anything out of it. So I feel like if that's you, hit me up in the DMs. 
if you want to talk music education, if you're struggling with your course at the moment, or you know someone who is, tag them in this, because I feel like I can help you or them with where they're going. That's all I wanted to say on music education. I feel like if you know anyone who wants to study music, if you can basically share it, tag it, tag them in it, the usual like and subscribe, uh, anything I can do, hit me up in the comments, hit me up in the DMs if you wanna talk about this and maybe we'll hook up a Skype or we'll, we'll figure something out. Uh, otherwise, go and check out Water Bear. If that's not for you, give me a shout and we'll find somewhere else. But hopefully that helps and hopefully it will take lots of you out of my DMs asking me the same question. Uh, right, I gotta go, go do some work. And by work, I mean I'm gonna play this awesome bass. I'll catch you again tomorrow.